Heading into Georgia Tech's week three matchup against Ole Miss, we are about to find out what the Yellow Jackets are made of. I'm joined by our Georgia Tech beat writer, Chad Bishop. Chad, what are the biggest challenges Georgia Tech faces against a Lane Kiffin coached Ole Miss team and offense? Well, it's it's tempo, it's speed, it's, it's stopping the run. It's that simple. Georgia Tech saw it up close and personal last year in 2022. Uh, Brent Key has seen it time and time again throughout his coaching career, but it's something different when you see it in person. You, you can't really simulate it in practice. You can't practice against it compared to the speed you'll see on Saturday night at Vault Hemingway, Hemingway Stadium. So uh, it's just going up against a, a different type of tempo and a different type of speed that you're not going to see week in and week out, no matter what conference you play in. What are the biggest things Georgia Tech needs to execute if you're the Yellow Jackets overall, but also quarterback Haynes King, which Coach Brent Key today talked about how he's seen Haynes get a little bit better each week. Yeah, you got to be crisp in everything you do. Uh, you know Ole Miss is going to score. I can go out on a limb and say Georgia Tech is not going to get shut out like it did a year ago. This offense is humming. They're playing very well. Haynes King is playing very well. You can't have drop passes. You can't have false starts in first and ten. You got to play as crisp as humanly possible to keep pace with Ole Miss and then hope the Rebels blink on their offensive side of the ball to give yourself a chance going into the fourth quarter. Who do you need big performances by on this Georgia Tech defense to keep Ole Miss quarterback Jackson Dart as uncomfortable as he possibly can? It's that entire defensive line, and we could throw the linebackers even there maybe as well. I mean, that defensive line has to come out. We're not expecting them to hold Ole Miss to 100 yards rushing or less, right? But they got to make plays. They got to disrupt things. They got to get in the backfield. They got to get Ole Miss off rhythm. That's the biggest thing when you watch that Ole Miss offense. If they're off, off rhythm just a little bit, their whole game plan can go a little bit haywire. So that Georgia Tech defensive front has to be on their P's and Q's, has to play the best game of their season so far. How big of a chance to make a statement is this not just for Georgia Tech, but head coach Brent Key? Yeah, it certainly is. I mean, three touchdown underdogs this weekend going into the Grove, going to that hostile environment. You know, where is Tech football right now? I thought they played very well in that Louisville game. Didn't get the job done, but still played very well. You know, had an easier game against South Carolina State where they took care of business. So this is the real barometer game, right? Like, can they match up with that top 20 team against an, an SEC foe, an SEC West Division title contender in Ole Miss? Can they go on the road in a hostile environment? How well will they play? Where are they going to stand at the end of 60 minutes on Saturday night? We'll find out on Saturday. Chad, thanks so much for joining me. Thanks to all of you for watching. Make sure you go to AJC.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel to find more videos just like this one.